framework for iOS. So previously I made some videos for Robotium and I've got some good response. So this has encouraged me to do some more videos on Calabash iOS. So let's start with creating uh, Calabash. Yeah, just before that, it's good to create, to, good to have the source code of a uh, sample project. So in case you don't have one project, so you can, all you can do is go to Xcode, Xcode create a new project and choose master detail application and go further enter all the details and press next next and you should be able to create the application the application which i created is a, it's a pretty simple one it just comes with a, something like this it comes with an app delegate methods and few other methods in here but if you should also have something similar to this i've created this to be on my desktop and this is the whole thing I have. So I, sh I should add my Calabash capabilities for this. Before doing that, after you after you created the sample project, quit your Xcode, go to your terminal, and then run run Calabash IO setup command. So once we run this command, for me it says I already have the project set up so i can i can remove that then run the command again yes okay and there is a calabash hyphen cal test product hyphen cal already present in my case so either i can do one i can set up another one again or i can just use the, the previous one so in my case i'll just set up again to show demo to you okay so it has created a calabash uh, as a scheme a uh, new scheme and new target for the for, yeah for my test project and next i should i need the set of directories and uh, the feature directory and features directory which is this one and this will be generated by using calabash ios gen command so for in my case it's already there so it just yeah it just finishes successfully so all i need to do now is look at my feature file i guess what i open it okay so this is the default feature file that's being created by Calabash and it says example steps give I'm in, given I'm on the welcome screen then I swipe left and I wait until I don't see so please swipe left and take a picture so this is what will be running as our first sample feature file and then we'll I'll show you how to do modifications and how to add more tests to it so before running this let me start my Xcode project Oh, I could as well launch it from here. This is much better. Bear with me, my motion is a bit slow, but I guess you. Uh, meanwhile, I'll just show you what are the other things that are necessary so go to this link then i did show you how to do the calabash ios setup then calabash ios gen this generates the speech uh, the feature files which i was showing you and kukuma command can just be used to execute the test so yeah i think i should have my xx code by now so Okay, few things that have that have to be taken care of before running Calabash setup is uh, before running the Calabash test is that this we, when you go into your projects and you see your files in here, you should have in frameworks folder you should have CF network and Calabash framework. So these two should be present to ensure that Calabash is being added onto your and on, onto your application. And uh, what else do we need? Well, I think this should be enough. Um, okay, uh, clicking on the Calabash framework, it should ensure that Calabash test product hyphen cal scheme uh, project 
yeah schemes clicked the, sorry the, it's the target yeah and then when you click on run when I see my output output window I should see that Calabash is started yeah creating Calabash IO server yeah the nine the server version and it started on port 37265 so that's the default port for Calabash so verify that I'm currently in my test product folder so yes I'm there so all I need to do is run my cucumber feature some problems so let me start my yeah I can start my application again from here I don't need my Xcode to start my application yeah yeah so I did I, I can see that my test passed I can see that my test passed and yeah one scenario executed this, this was the scenario and four steps passed these, these are the four steps and this is the one scenario that was executed yet yeah, this test cannot be considered as an actual I, I can be, cannot be considered as a proper test because there are some limitations it's just to verify that your Calabash framework is set up properly so let's let's yeah let's stop this for here and I'll create an, another video which shows how to write a proper test for Calabash framework and so that you can verify the Calabash is working fine and it's also able to you're also able to do the application testing of your project thank you for now bye this was stage here like my videos if you like this thank you